While I live in my car, I've got everything I own organized into bags, so that way I can grab whichever one I need and take it with me to what I need to do. So first up is my duffel bag, which I keep mostly clothes in, but also as much of my other stuff, like my bath towel, my toiletries bag, any clothes that I'm like currently wearing and still are good to be used, I just keep on top. And the rest of my clean clothes are organized into packing cubes. So here's my socks. I've got probably about 12 pairs, which is a little bit too much, but I'd rather not run out. And then in here, I've got my undies, which I've probably got about 12 pairs as well. I think the more the better with these ones because then you don't have to do laundry quite as often. Then I've got all of my tops in here. So I've got about three or four sports bras for the gym, two or three singlets and two loose t-shirts and one long sleeve for colder days. And then at the bottom here, I've got all of my bottoms. So I have like three or four pairs of gym pants, one long leggings and the rest gym shorts, two pairs of kind of flowy dressy shorts, um, and then I've got one pair of baggy jeans. And just so you know as well, I put all of my dirty laundry in a little laundry bag kept in the pocket inside of the lid of that duffel bag. So that's all of my clothes. I also in this bag keep all of my electronics. So in this little bag here, I've got all of my cables, my chargers, speaker, headphones. In here, I've got my hard drive, some SD cards and a USB. I've got a little tripod for my camera. Oh, I found a bracelet that I didn't realize I'd lost. I also just keep like a little card game in here. And there's a little case that my camera fits into, but I'm obviously using it right now. Now my little toiletries bag, it's quite full at the moment. I've got more stuff than I really need because I'm trying a couple of things. So I've got all of my dental hygiene tools at the top here. So floss, toothbrush, toothpaste, and I have a night guard as well. Some hair ties, random band-aids and eye drops. So in here I've got all my pills and stuff and like lip balm like painkillers, antacids, I've got my birth control, and plenty of iron supplements as well. That's some solid conditioner that I'm trying out. That is just a bar of soap. We'll ignore that one. That's a menstrual disc and some liners. This is just an electric razor, which is the only kind of shaver that I'll use for hair removal, which is not often, but just on my legs when I need to. That is more hair products, um, sunscreen, that's some solid deodorant, and a little silicone face scrubber. In the front here, I keep my current packet of birth control and iron tablets, and also some nail files, nail clippers, squeezes, things that I just need in a pinch. And that's all my toiletries. So next up is a little bag that I keep for all of my beach clothes, so like swimmers and wetsuits, because obviously wetsuits are quite bulky and they need a bag of their own. So I've also got just like a little cover up from Tahiti. I've got a long steamer wetsuit and some little neoprene socks and also a short spring suit, which is probably overkill, but I'm a wuss in the cold. And in this little bag, I keep all of my bikinis, which is just four pairs. And that's all my swimmers. Next up is my beach bag to take to the beach with me. So for example, I've got my hat. I've got a little surfboard carrier that I made myself. I've got a pool floaty, which I've never used inflated, but it helps to put wet stuff on top. I've got my beach towel, which is sand free and SPF 50 sunscreen. I've got my snorkel and mask, surfboard wax and a portable clothesline to hang stuff up to dry. And that's all my beach stuff. Minus my flippers, which I fit elsewhere in my car. Next up is my gym bag, which makes it super easy for me to just grab it and go into the gym and I'm ready to go. So I keep my change of clothes so I can walk in with my pajamas and get changed in there. I've got my shaker for pre-workout, two flavors of pre-workout, the gym towel, gloves, lifting straps, L-carnitine, puffer, and my program. Written down because I don't have a phone I can use in the gym. Next up is my day bags, which don't really have anything like permanently stored in them. They're more just tools themselves. And this is a smaller one. 
daily things like mask, sunscreen, wallet, pouch of coins, oh and a little thing to keep my rings in if I need to take them off. But the bigger bag is mainly used for carrying things like groceries from the shops. So that's all my bags. And I've got a couple of loose items like my surfboard, my skateboard, flippers, sandals, fluffy jacket in case it gets cold, my laptop, and my picnic blanket. So now let's see how it all fits in my car. So first in goes my skateboard. Then in the side doors I put my day bag and my gym bag because they're the quickest to just grab and go here. Then just here I put my beach bag because that's another grab and go bag. Then goes my bag of swimmers and wetsuits. And finally my big duffel bag of all my clothes and stuff because generally when I go to get something out of this one I need to lift the boot and I need a bit more space to um, reach in and rummage around for what I need. So with the seats down, there's a little bit of space under. So I keep my sandals here if I need to just put them on in a pinch in the morning. At night when I sleep, I put my boots here. That's the picnic blanket there. My flippers just slot in nicely to the side. Didn't mention this before, but there's a little mosquito net. It's literally just a scrap of a big mosquito net that we put on the boot. I also made a little crochet pocket that goes around here so I can keep some pens and pencils, crochet needles. I put my cutlery in here, just a little travel cutlery set. My phone goes in here when I don't really need it, which is most of the time. So yeah, that's all my stuff and I keep it on the side of the car. Um, it's separated by some pillows and bedding from Nick's stuff, which is on this side of the car. Obviously, we have cut down on a lot of the stuff that we originally brought because it's hard to really know what you need until you actually start doing it. I hope you got something out of the video. If you've got a trip like this planned, I hope you feel a little bit more prepared. Definitely subscribe if you want more travel related content, living on the road. My whole aim is to make an experience like this seem a little bit more accessible to normal people and a little less daunting. I definitely have more videos coming soon. I hope you are planning something, something big, something cool, and I will see you next time.